President Donald Trump presents the Medal of Honor to a retired Army captain for conspicuous gallantry during his service in the Vietnam War. Today, Captain Gary Michael Rose becomes the 19th combat medic to receive the medal. White House correspondent Mark Irons was at the ceremony. He joins us now. Good evening, Mark. Good evening, Lauren. Rose lives in Huntsville, Alabama, where he is active with the Knights of Columbus in his retirement. But it's for his actions in Laos during 1970s Operation Tailwind that he has now become the 69th living soldier to receive the Medal of Honor for actions in the Vietnam War. It's been 47 years since Army Captain Gary Michael Rose tended to wounded soldiers during the Vietnam War. And today, he's in the East Room of the White House with the President. This summer, he learned he would finally receive the prestigious award for his bravery. Please hold for the President of the United States. Receiving a congratulatory phone call from the President in August. I came to classic military attention. I had the phone in my left hand, my 45 degree angles on my feet, my fingers curled, my thumb along the seam of my pants, and all I could get out was, yes, Mr. President, thank you, Mr. President, yes, Mr. President. In September 1970, Rose was a medic with the 5th Special Forces Group. His work was secret. It was on a mission deep in enemy territory in Laos that Operation Tailwind took place. Rose and the soldiers with him came under heavy gunfire and were stranded. On the fourth day of the mission, as they were being extracted, the helicopter Rose was on went down. He ignored his own injuries and tended to the wounded, including one Marine who suffered serious trauma to his neck. He was just bleeding like a stuck pig. At that time, I was out of anything, so I, I think I stiffened his neck up by pulling some uh, bandanas, and that's what I was using to help him with. Rose saved his life. The Marine lived 42 more years, dying in 2012. The fact that he lived all the way to 2012, that just gives me uh, a really a great sense of accomplishment that, that I give credit to the people that trained me, that I, I was able to do something to in spite of his injuries to, to keep him so he could go home. And he gives all credit to divine intervention. There is no reason why I'm sitting here today. The overwhelming odds that we faced on the ground and the crash. So I got to believe God decided that I was not going to die that day, nor the other people on that helicopter. Rose views the Medal of Honor as a collective award. He says he's receiving it on behalf of the men and women who served alongside him, showing courage and dedication to our nation. Lauren. What an incredible story, Mark. I understand after this, Captain Rose plans to return to his work with groups like the Knights of Columbus and St. Vincent de Paul. Yes, Rose and his wife, Margaret, will return to Huntsville, Alabama later this week after a Hall of Heroes induction ceremony tomorrow at the Pentagon. At home, Rose is very active in charity work, and he says there's really no better feeling that you get at the end of the day when you can think back that you actually made a difference in somebody's life. Lauren. What a great human being. Thank you so much for that powerful story. White House correspondent Mark Irons.